Hi, I'm Eric with Rambo Bikes and I'm going to show you how to build your Rambo bike. This is the box your Rambo bike will come in. Inside this box are two smaller boxes, one containing your charger and the other containing the pedals, manual, and reflectors. First step in assembling your bike is removing the bike from the box and removing all the packaging materials from the bike. The tools you will need to assemble your bike are a two and a half, four, and two five millimeter Allen wrenches, a 15 millimeter open-ended wrench, and some general purpose grease. Whenever doing any work on your Rambo bike, you should start by removing the battery, including assembly. You don't have a bike stand, we recommend using the edge of the box to hold the bike upright during assembly. Swivel the handlebar stem forward. Next part you want to do is remove the handlebar clamp by using a four millimeter Allen wrench. Place the handlebars into the stem and replace the clamp and use a four millimeter Allen wrench to tighten the bolts down. You want to make sure to tighten these bolts down in a cross pattern so there is equal space on the top and the bottom of the clamp. Now connect any of the cables that were disconnected by aligning the two arrows and pushing them together. Next step, we're gonna need the all-purpose grease and we're going to remove your seat post. Add some lubrication into the seat post tube and replace the seat post. And you want to make sure the seat post clamp is tight enough so it can't be turned from side to side. If you don't have a bike stand, swivel the LCD display down and remove the cardboard and two plastic end caps off the front wheel. Then flip the bike upside down and remove the plastic piece inside the brake caliper. Loosen all four fork pinch bolts with a four millimeter Allen wrench. Then loosen the axle bolts using two five millimeter Allen wrenches and slide the front axle almost all the way out of the front fork to make room for the front wheel. Then pick up the front wheel and align the brake rotor between the brake pads and caliper. Now slide the axle through the wheel. This may require some wiggling and light pressure to push through as it is a tight fit. Now tighten down both axle bolts using two 5mm Allen wrenches. Now tighten all four fork pinch bolts using a 4mm Allen wrench. Next thing we're going to do is put the pedals on the bike. They are marked left and right. This is very important because the left pedal is reverse threaded. Start by adding lubrication to the threads on the crank arm. Now insert the left pedal into the left crank arm by turning it counterclockwise to tighten it. And tighten this all the way down and then use a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. For the right pedal, follow the same steps only turning it clockwise to tighten. The last couple of adjustments you'll want to make on your bike is to make sure the handlebars are tight. To do this, stand over the front wheel and hold it in between your legs and try to turn the handlebars. If they move independently of the tire, you'll want to tighten the two bolts on either side of the stem using a 5mm Allen wrench. Swivel the LCD display back into position and then tighten it down with a 2.5mm Allen wrench. After you've completed these steps and your battery is fully charged, you can put it back on your bike and now you are ready to ride your Rambo bike. If you have any questions about your bike, you can call our office at 952-283-0777 or email us at cs at rambobikes.com. You can also check out our website, rambobikes.com. Congratulations on purchasing your Rambo bike.